I'm Valencia. And I'm Shi Hui. Today, we are going to look at one of the most significant problems in Singapore, the lack of living space. Yes, this problem is not only seen in Singapore, but also in other parts of Asia, such as Hong Kong and Tokyo. With the world population increasing rapidly, the land space for houses is decreasing. To solve this problem, nations like Singapore have adopted the strategy of building smaller apartments to accommodate more people in limited land area. However, along with this comes the issue of the lack of living space. Let's head to the streets to find out more. I mean, for other so-called races, they might be increasing their family members. So I think the space is not enough for them, in fact, to accommodate uh, bigger families. Well, What if I get like more stuff and uh, I want to fit inside my room and I do not have enough like living space? I could be uh, like I could, I could find a bit like more like annoyed because like sometimes you just need like more space to live and like enjoy myself. I think the smaller the living space, uh, we if we are in the house, we we are we cannot do like um certain activities la, and. I think people, friends and family cannot like usually gather in the house. Yeah. This is true. La. Singapore living space, I think in terms of the HDB, I think it's getting smaller. Yeah, I think more expensive uh, currently. I think not only double, I think triple up also. The Ministry of Social Development is building a lot of housing board flats. And I think they are taking up a lot of land and the space they are getting are getting smaller. Uh, currently, the living space is based on the living space constraint. I think uh, smaller family, I think uh, maybe you all want to set guide that you know, smaller family do not apply you no know, so big flats, you know, maybe smaller. You know. So that I think for uh, three, three person you know, per four room is more than enough. I, I think the government is now looking into building so-called uh, space underground so that might be able to help in a way la. but I think in the long run uh, as the population increase uh, you're going to have a problem because underground how much of uh, space you can occupy underground uh, unless you want to increase the land, land size it is evident that the lack of living space is a common problem in Singapore Many Singaporeans usually buy smaller furniture or even stake the things up to the ceiling to save space. Not only that, some even go to the extent of expanding their apartment size beyond their doorstep. Well, one of the solutions to save more space will be... Instead of folding and hanging your clothes, you can roll them up to save space. Using this method, more clothes can be packed into the wardrobe. This room is too cramped. The bulky television is taking up too much space. Replace it with an LCD television that is thinner. Get a new television console that can be attached onto the wall. Change the enormous bookshelf to shelves fixed on the wall. By replacing furniture that uses horizontal space with furniture that uses vertical space, there is more living space now. For those who find that their room is too small, there is actually a range of space-saving furniture in the market right now. This is a new revolutionary system that allows for the inclusion of a bed and desk furniture, even in a very small space. Lift the desk upwards gently. and pull out the bed. Apart from desk and bed furniture, there are also sofa and bed furniture. Without much effort, gently tuck at the shelf and the bed will swing down. The shelf then acts as a firm support for the bed.
This is one of the slimmest foldable chairs. Simply unpack the plastic board, fold it backwards and lock it in place. Lift out the flaps and clip them together. Wow! These furniture can really save space. And of course, we can also save space by discarding the items that we don't really need. All this clutter can actually be reduced by asking yourself these questions. First, have you used this in the last year? Second, would you have any chance of using this in the coming week? Third, does this carry any sentimental value? And, do you already have another of this? Well, with a little bit of creativity, you can create more living space out of the extra spaces in your homes.